Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle With. Out, Bruce Pritchard. It's the remix, baby. Today, we're talking all about the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, and we're doing something a little different today. Uh, as expected, occasionally, Bruce is going to have to miss an episode. WWE duties call, and today is no exception to that. Uh, we'll be back next week with brand new original content, but we're still going to have fun today and make this Friday fly by because we're going to go revisit our very first episode. But I'm going to chime in here and there with some breaks to uh, tell a story or two, if you will, and give you a little peek behind the scenes. Before we get going on this Dusty Roads episode, I want to provide a little context for you. Bruce and I first hung out on October 17th, 2015. I only remember that because Alabama was playing Texas A&M and, uh, well, Bruce was a heel and he's pulling for Texas A&M. Uh, but either way, I first met Bruce from doing the Ric Flair show. Bruce was one of the guests on the Ric Flair show, as was Eric Bischoff and Tony Schiavone and Jim Ross and Kurt Angle. It's funny how it all comes full circle. I met all these guys through doing a podcast with Rick, but either way, Bruce and I are hanging out there in October of 2015. And we started to talk a little bit about his background in television production, because of course that was a big part of what he did in WWE, not just writing storylines, but producing television. Well, I was really trying to grow the mortgage company and we had conversations about, you know, some campaigns and video campaigns that might be helpful for that. So fast forward and, uh, we start working together and then, uh, I started to pick his brain like any wrestling fan probably would. And at the end of a long day of shooting or something, I'd say, Hey man, what happened when, and I'll never forget, you know, the way he told the story of the radicals, I was convinced. This is a podcast and it took a little bit of convincing and selling on my part. Uh, and at the time I had the Ric Flair show on court Bowers, MLW radio. And I don't think he thought court was maybe the big Bruce fan. Of course we know years later, Bruce would work with MLW. So that was a non-issue. Uh, but either way, we recorded a couple of sample tracks. I wouldn't call them really sample shows because Bruce and I had talked wrestling before, but never quote unquote on the record. I wasn't sure how comfortable he would be or what he would feel like he could open up about and what he couldn't. So we weren't exactly sure what we had. So we recorded just some snippets here and there. And, uh, then we had to decide on what are we going to do our first show about? And I just knew I wanted to talk about nostalgia, which is why I used to always phrase my questions. What happened when, uh, and of course now we know that that phrasing questions that way to Bruce, what happened when actually became the name of the Tony Schiavone podcast. Uh, either way, it's fun how this all comes full circle and it all works out. Our first topic though, was something we heavily debated. I didn't want to talk about current stuff. I wanted to talk about old stuff, the stuff I was really passionate about the stuff he was really passionate about. And we didn't want to be sort of doing what everybody else was doing and breaking down what happened on raw this week or previewing this weekend's pay-per-view. So when we started to think about nostalgia, although I thought his story was maybe most captivating on the radicals. I wanted to showcase some silly stuff of Bruce around the office. And again, this is in the context of being in a mortgage company. He would just jump into these impressions and bear in mind, no one at my office knew what Jim Cornette sounded like. It didn't keep Bruce from when someone comes in and tells a phony story, him piping up. Well, goddamn! And then he would do his full Jim Cornette impression as silly as it may be. And no one in the room had any context of Jim Cornette. They, they couldn't, they had no idea who that was or what it was supposed to sound like or any of that, but the delivery and the words he was saying were hilarious. I thought his best impression at the time was dusty Rhodes, And it probably still is. Although that Johnny Ace one still pops me. And I wonder if he's doing that today somewhere. Anyway, dusty Rhodes was chosen as the topic. He had just passed away about a year prior. I think he passed away in June of 2015. Oh, I want to tell you another reason this dusty episode is so special to me, man. What a great day in my life. The day this debuts is August of 2016. And that just so happens to be seriously. Now think about this. The first episode of something the wrestle drops on the day. I have my first date with my now wife, Megan. How cool is that? Two great things starting at the same time it was a big day in the history of my life. And I'm excited to share a little remix with you here. And, uh, it's dusty roads, by the way, we're not just playing it all the way through. I'm going to check back in shortly, add a little context. We'll see you here in a few minutes, but for now, enjoy the very first something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard about dusty roads and the WWF. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.